my advice would be to just try your hardest. This guest on the on the the Special Chronicles of podcast is Quig Blackbone, who is a 34-year-old young man who has Down syndrome and is a peer self-advocate and a motivational speaker. Welcome to to the Special Chronicles po- podcast, Quig. So let's uh, let's have uh, you begin with uh, introducing yourself to our listeners. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, your family, and what disability you would um, diagnose with. My name is Ted Blackburn. I am a peer, a advocate, and motivational speaker. Um, my my family's name is Ted Ernie, Ken Ernie, and I live intently. I'm a new, I'm a new home for two years in Metairie, Louisiana. Okay. And I'm in my family for seven one years. Good, good. So can you tell us about some of the challenges that you have had uh, in school that 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 um, you have had to um, deal with in school? Yeah, the, the, the almost challenges are that I have to take certain subjects more than one time. Just if I don't understand what in class and appears, it tends to, uh, I get easily frustrated. But I have excellent time on my homework, I think. Yeah. And I take uh, in the books, classes, take almost any, um, Work based on my work that I have, and um, taking the E at a good time for that. Taking test, I have a good time for that, and the ACT. Hmm. So how 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 have you been able to overcome the challenges in in in, in, in school? Have you received help from any teachers, or how have you been able to? When I was in another class, classes, yes, I did have a resource teacher. And the resource teacher did come in, and they help everybody. If they don't want to help the resource teacher, like, stop the side with, uh, of me. Yeah. But it, they help everybody in the class. And once the teachers say, give the rules out, saying that um, it was, he, one time they say the resource teacher can get the actual assignment, and one time they go back to the resource classes, they can make any test they can read the questions to me that I can bubble in the answers. Good, good. So you said that you are an advocate for for others with with um, um disabilities. What do you right. do, what do you do as an advocate? I'm a self advocate for the Down Syndrome Association of Women Arms, and also um as you work is that we go up to watch to see to advocate for um. Like, for example, for the ever act, the community, if I like experience, we should talk to our legislators and our representatives on the legislative topic on the issue called the ever act. And we, um, we talk to them and, um, they want to hear the self act, the, the self act story. Good, good. So, uh, you, you, the the a motto that that you live by is to never give up. Can can can, can you tell us about uh, about this motto that you have to to never give up and 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 why why is, is this important to uh, 
to um, uh, um, live by this and to never give up? Well, I, 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 I never give up because I've seen other families, educators, children, and other families that are struggling with school because I encourage them to be smarter, to overcome that, their obstacle. Yeah. But once you know, one of the things that never give up with me is that everybody can do it. If you don't look behind your fears, that you look forward to it. Good. Good. And you have others have access to be included in the charisma. Yeah, very good. Absolutely. So you said that you're on the board for the Down Syndrome as, as, uh, Association of Grado. New Orleans. Can you yeah. t- tell us what do you do there, and 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 what's the main point that that you say when you speak? The main point of our discussion, the other thing I've been on is that yes, we do. Um, pertains to others have access to spread the word. Yeah. And we um we do have a board member that was obviously in the board and we do have a body walk um in October twenty sixth and we are getting up towards the body walk. Neat, 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 neat. Neat uh, and do you go to the body walk? Yeah, but in law, it's the biggest fundraiser. It's on October 26th at Seventh Park, Seventh Airline Drive, and Mary. Um, it's a one law fun walk that's the promote the awareness month. We have a lot of activities for the kids. We have non profit organizations. We have profit organizations. We have 10 teams of Hilltop Shemaniah. We do um, have a lot of food out there. We do games for the kids. We have the Top Cat that performs for the kids. It's all day as the registration starts at 10 a.m. And the actual walk begins at 11 a.m. That's the week, p.m. It's kind of fun. Neat, neat, neat. So, uh, get, what? Where, where have been some of of the the speeches that that you that that you have given um, and, the, I, and that you've spoken at? I I I speak local and outside of. The- other country, like I speak to the, the churches, mm-hmm. the Knights of Columbus, the conferences, like the NDSC and the FX, body walks, um, I'm into Qatar in the Middle East, uh, in the country, um, to that body. Need, need. So, uh, so can, can, can you share with us what does Down syndrome mean to you? What does Down syndrome mean to me is that I do. I mean, I was born when I was diagnosed with Down syndrome. That they thought that they thought I was been diagnosed at the age of four months. But then I had open heart surgery at two months. And when I, when I was growing up, you know, when I was a teenager, I, you know, I did have Down syndrome, but I had a lot of support. My family, my aunt, my whole family. 
Good, very good. Good. So can you share with us some of the uh, activities that you have participated in school? You, um, what, what are some of the some of, some of activities in high school I've gotten involved in? I'm in four years and all to see for four years. I was a manager of the football team for Hong Kong High School. Three years in Eugene Landry Middle School. I was in offering the alpha saxophone in a band only for one year. And I, and I took, um, to the entire club on the football team and I was the manager for that. Good. Good. Neat. So when you were in school, did your classmates and, and your friends see you with having a disability, or or did they see your, or did they, or did they see the abilities that 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 you have? And with my parents and friends, they they do see me as a peer with my friends, but they know for it. They know that. They can help other individuals with social media. Yeah. And I was included in, in activities with my friends this year, all through high, throughout the high school year and middle school year. They include me in, in a lot of activities. And I want you to in my of high school when I was carrying the football home in a way and every time they win the football game they held me up on a shoulder pad and walk off the field. Oh. Neat, neat, neat. So you um you you have have moved out of your parents' house and and are living on your own. Can can you share with us about what what it like to live in the independently and and why did you decide that you wanted to live independently? When I when I was living with my, with my family for like thirty four like gone thirty one years old, I ended up going to a plan to start at home on my own program. It's once you change like um change Paris, just when I was in change on Paris, I think a transfer to just in Paris. This is a plan at home for my own office in a condo. And I and I I I had like the design um yes I had it was enabled me to have a a program account on my condo. And I've been in my condo for three years. Neat, neat, neat. So, uh, what advice do you have for parents who have children with who 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 have children with uh, uh, disabilities? When when you speak to uh... my advice is to that uh, families with individuals with both means can achieve what they have in go in in goals in the dream. That I see other people that to easily see the regular high school diploma. So like an example that I did in high school. Mm. It's here to other individuals to be the best they can be and be the best that you can do. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Never give up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. To uh, uh, I'll never give up. Now, I um, when I read your your um speech, you um, talked about the word inclusion. Uh, yeah. Can, can can you tell us uh, about uh, about the word in inclusion? That. When I was in, when I was in, in creative, yes, I had a lot of, um, 
supports. I had in and out and I was filled with tutoring. Yeah. But I had to I had um he helped me on some subjects like math, English, science and social studies. That they helped me to know exactly what is what I have included to help a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a I imagine about your message to educators was to think of learning differences and not learning disabilities. What what do you mean by by this to um, think of learning differences instead of um, learning disabilities? When I say it must be that if we have disability is not based upon that I do see other people that have a disability based on a can for like whether you have autism or other sub-disabilities but the main thing is Down syndrome yeah. and we do I do help a lot of individuals to make your own goal and help them to change them. Yeah. And as a after I give back in my community to help them to get involved in that. Good, 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 good. So you also said in your speech that uh that you were a phone Exchange student and and you went to Italy, and you and, and you had an audience with uh, Pope John Paul the second. Can, can can you tell us about that experience? When I was in foreign exchange at the age of fourteen, we were selected like we have five students and five chaperones at night, yeah. and we each spend time and. Firstly, cars and wrong. It was like arts. And, um, we had fun with, with doing that. And what was interesting is that when we met the code, he said, like, in so many types of language that he spoke in, like, the language he spoke in that. They did a, um, other message came up and it, it addressed the boss to you know, as a point of attention and they gave a, like a big train to the Pope. Yeah. Yeah, neat, neat. So, uh, do you, do you have any final thoughts that you would like to share with our listeners about your message and 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 your story that that uh, uh, um, you would like to share. Again, never give up. There is a chance for people to achieve the recognized diploma, and success does come in time. Hmm. Yeah. So I would like to thank you once again for taking the time to come on the Special Chronicles podcast and I look forward to talking with you again soon. Thank you.